This video will discuss the endovascular treatment of a complex dural arterial venous fistula. A 71-year-old woman presented with headaches and a CTA showed multiple dilated intracranial vessels. Cerebral angiography demonstrates a complex dural arterial venous fistula with multiple feeders from the left internal and external carotid artery, including the left occipital artery, middle meningeal artery, posterior auricular artery, and meningohypophyseal trunk. The fistulous pouch tracks along the left transverse and sigmoid sinus, and critically, there is no jugular venous outflow on the left-hand side. There is substantial cortical venous hypertension. Angiography of the right common carotid artery also demonstrates feeding vessels from both the internal and external carotid circulation. Because of this fistula's retrograde drainage directly into cortical veins, it is considered a type 3 fistula and carries a high rate of neurological deficit and hemorrhage. The patient was offered treatment, but declined and was lost to follow-up. Two years later, the patient presented with headache and right hemianopsia. CT scan showed left temporal occipital intraparenchymal hemorrhage. Repeat angiography demonstrated similar but worsened angioarchitecture of the complex left-sided dural arteriovenous fistula. Importantly, this is a rare situation where the occluded sinus is ipsilateral to the fistula and drains only the venous outflow of the fistula itself. This presents a rare opportunity to employ the dual microcatheter technique and embolize both the fistula and the sinus. Transvenous access was obtained and the patient was fully heparinized. A guide catheter was navigated into the right internal jugular vein Two microcatheters were placed into the fistulous left transverse sigmoid sinus. As coil embolization proceeds, one microcatheter is pushed back and out of the transverse sinus. Onyx embolization through the second microcatheter progressively occludes all fistulous connections. Immediate post-procedural angiography demonstrates complete obliteration of the fistula normal cortical venous drainage has been restored. The town's projection demonstrates how coil and onyx embolization of the fistula up to the level of the torcula has completely obliterated the fistula's connection while preserving normal venous drainage. Note that abnormal feeders from the right internal and external carotid artery are also eliminated after embolization.